people that allows us to realize our vision to make the ultimate open world zombie game. Today, I'm proud to present the world premiere of Dead Rising 3. It's three days after a massive outbreak in the city of Los Perdidos, and our new hero, Nick Ramos, is trying to escape with his life. Let's jump into the game. What is up everybody? This is some more E3 2013 gameplay footage from the Microsoft press conference and this is, holy crap, Dead Rising 3. I am such a big fan of Dead Rising. You have no idea, no idea, but world premiere Dead Rising 3. This is, uh, let me tell you, I am so excited. I am, I've almost completely forgot about how the Xbox One completely screws over the consumer with its whole use games things and whatnot, but this game, it's gorgeous. It's sexy. I want it. I want it now. After State of Decay, I want a really good zombie game in this. Just holy crap! I I am so sorry. I I've like I said, I've got to edit these stuff before I can post them without my voice. But for right now, just just gawk at this with me. I mean, this game, this game right here. It's an Xbox One exclusive, too. That is the big thing. This is an Xbox One exclusive. Excuse me for a second. I've got to turn around and see what they're announcing. Okay, Battlefield 4. But this is an Xbox One exclusive. I think it releases sometime this... Uh, I think it releases this year. I think this is a release game. If that is the case, that is an astonishing way to start out a new console. I think they said holiday 2013. I think I was too busy trying to catch up and record and all this other stuff for other games. So, pardon me, but... Yeah, this whole you just don't understand you cannot comprehend my excitement for this game it just it's gorgeous it is gorgeous holy oh oh man dead rising 3 fan and i'm going to be quiet for about 20 seconds or so that way you all can see some of it without me talking uh like i said i get in trouble if i don't do stupid ass commentary on these but i'm going to be a little quiet for about i'll say let's stop on an even number Right now. I got watch it, man. Zombies are attracted to your every move, and this can lead to overwhelming odds if you're not careful. Fortunately, there's multiple ways to distract them. So yeah, as you can see, it's it's a gorgeous game. Uh I am I am I am taken aback. I am I'm like shaking. I'm so excited. I love, I love a good zombie game, and this game looks, just from what we're seeing now, it looks phenomenal. I am kind of a bit skeptical about a new protagonist, but they've swapped them out in the other two games. You know, Dead Rising One had Frank, Dead Rising Two had Chuck. Off the record, went back to Frank, so it looks like we're getting a third guy. I'm not sure if this is going to be like a trilogy series or whatever, but it looks great. I mean, you can see right now we're in a in like a building or something like that. Um. And you know he's exploring that. Here in a sec, he's going to get a uh, like sledgehammer saw thing and just start carving people up. It's actually just awesome. And I just turned around and uh, the press conference went off for a second. So well, that sucks. <laughs> Looks like I won't be recording whatever that was. Uh, probably just Battlefield 4. I'm not really anywhere near as excited for Battlefield 4 as I am. Uh, yeah. Rising 3. I mean, come on. But just look at this game. Okay. It's it's gorgeous. It has the sort of visual aesthetic design of Resident Evil 6, and sort of it looks like it has more of a refined control scheme with the, uh, the gunplay, I guess you could say. I mean, it looks spectacular, and it's probably the most impressive thing I've seen at E3, aside from I caught The Witcher 3 uh, running. They showed some of the open world aspects and everything, and The Witcher 3 looks just as phenomenal as I could imagine, you know, I could hope for at least. Um, but yeah, this is just this is a this has been a pretty good uh pretty good E3 I gotta admit pretty uh pretty good E3. I'm not sure if uh, I didn't get kicked off. There might just be problems uh with the uh, live stream. I don't know. 
of exploration as you scatter. One of the live streams the once is just at Dead Rising, so I don't know, maybe or did the live stream end? I think it's over. I think. Now it looks like they're showing off Battlefield War uh, Battlefield 4 on another thing. I don't know. But uh yeah. Dead Rising uh Dead Rising 3. Um I don't know if I'm uh I don't know. I don't know. It looks it just looks phenomenal. Um I'm actually probably going to shut up now because uh yeah. I, I want you all to see at least some of it without me talking. I'm, I'm I apologize again in advance. I I get in trouble if I don't. But I figured it might be a uh, an hour or so before they upload the trailers by themselves, so I wanted to, everyone to see them beforehand. But yeah, uh, hope you all enjoy seeing the rest of Dead Rising 3, however much left it is, and yeah, take care. Actually, real quick, I almost forgot, I'll have the rest of the stuff from the Microsoft press conference uploaded, I promise I'll have it uploaded without me talking, I've got to edit it a bit. At, give it like my own flair or something, uh, otherwise I get in trouble for uploading it, and I really don't want to get in trouble for uploading uh, all this awesome stuff from the press conference, but I hope you all understand of the talking, it just if you if it's really annoying, just mute me. Um, really exciting time going on, I will say that though. Um, hope you all enjoy E3 and everything they show off, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Exclusively for the Xbox One. Thank you.